morning? Brother, that's what I call an omelet. I'm coming over next time you serve breakfast. Our roosters would just go wild. Caw, <laughs> caw. <laughs> the hens would stop playing if they saw her. Come on, pose. <laughs> oh, hold still. Don't move around now. Three. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, Rhinus, you can never keep your hands off. <laughs> He'll get to you in a minute, honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, but the taxi will be here in just a minute or two. You mean he came up in the lift? <laughs> <laughs> you can go home in the taxi if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Do these farmers plan to stay up all night? They're just about to head on home. And about time. It's one o'clock. <laughs> Those poor little chickens, all squeezed together in there. Oh, now they've got plenty of room. Oh, well, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> oh, no, we've got wonderful game cards. <laughs> oh, no, the taxi's waiting. Hey, you guys, wait. Do you know where the lift is? Yes. Gentlemen, I sincerely hope you've had a nice evening. Oh, oh well, thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you. Wonderful time. Well, not quite as yet. <laughs> Did you press the button? Yeah. Good girl. Oh, this way. Here we go. There you are, Amy. <laughs> uh, anyone else? <laughs> I think I should have gone to the powder oh, room. You spilled more than you drank. Let me see oh, these. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so impatient. Don't tell. What was oh, that? Oh. Must have been lightning. Ooh. Wow, that was quite a bang, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure was. I guess it was a short circuit. Come on, damn you, come on. I'm stuck. Ah. Hello? Hello? It doesn't work. It doesn't work either. I sure hope it doesn't take long, you know? Two bottles of champagne and some good caviar, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a joker. <laughs> yep, we think it was just a fuse. No, nothing really serious. All right, okay. The reporting is going to check the fuses. It shouldn't take. Sir, the lift is stuck. Oh, damn. Oh, oh it's so hot in here. Come on, how about a little while we're waiting, huh? huh? <laughs> oh, you ate too many of those muscles. You shouldn't have. You're yeah, right. So you're feeling sick, huh? <laughs> I think somebody's figured out we're trapped in this elevator. Look, it's just sitting there. It's between floors. Oh, power, good. That should solve it. The lift's not going, sir. Huh? That's trouble. We better get some help. <laughs> What? A red light! What? Huh? A red huh? light! Who cares? Uh, too damn hot. Uh, Jesus, it's like a sauna in here. Have escaped. Either that or they don't want to be rescued from Quiet, you fools. <laughs> Are you all right? 
I sure hope this is the right one. So do I. Yep. Mm -mm. Doesn't work. Has to. What's going on here? Oh my gosh. Don't you think we should call the police? Eh? Don't panic. We just might be able to fix it ourselves. Look, huh? it's coming down. Where do you think it'll stop? The lobby, come on. I, I just hope nobody's injured in there. Why do you think it started up again? Who knows? These damn machines will be the death of us all someday. Which one did they get in? Uh, the middle one, I, I think. Uh. What's this doing in the hallway? Take this to your room right this minute. I'm not telling you again. Go! Go! Felix. Yeah? Honestly, Felix. You know, you could get him something without batteries for a change. Something quiet, like a book. Why? Well, for me. You don't have to listen to that noise all day long. I do. You can see he has fun with it. Hmm. Well, that's a nice eye. Yep. Nice color, too. That's your own fault. You know how jealous Louie can get. All I did was smile at the guy's wife. What's the big problem? Yeah, but you don't know when to stop. I beg your pardon. I was just being friendly. Hmm. Daddy, the truck's broken. Daddy has no time for your ambulance. Don't you, Papa? Not now. I have to work. But it'd be easy for you. This morning's not convenient. Now get dressed. Sally's father has hair he puts all around the top of his head. Oh, yeah? And how do you know that, sweetheart? She showed me where he keeps it. Really? Bertie, don't read at the table. You should be doing that in school. But Daddy's reading. Well, that's different. He's a grown-up. When do I get to be a grown-up? Soon enough. Karen, eat your breakfast. Oh, uh, Pop? Will I grow hair in my chest when I'm older? Big girls don't get hair. They get lumps. What are those? Chest things. I heard about them in school, but I don't know their names. Uh, breasts. They're called breasts. Mommy, when do I get breasts? When you learn not to talk at the table while we're eating. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? This is the Adelaide resident. Yes, he's here. I'll get him. Just a minute. Dad, it's for you. Adelar. Good morning, boss. Yeah? What happened there? The air conditioning. Uh, yes, it can get pretty hot. No. I'll go over and take a look. What's the address? Mm-hmm. 14. Yes, boss. That's what I'll do. Goodbye. Felix, are they going to be calling you at home now? Somebody almost died in an elevator last night. They want me to go over and check it out. It's probably nothing serious. Be careful. Mm hmm See you later. Good morning. Good morning. 
Uh, are you here for the lift? Mm hmm Yes, that's right. I heard there was quite a party here last evening. Sure was. Almost their last party. I'll phone the super. He's been asking about you. Bush, it's Jim. The guy from the lift company is here. You want me to send him around? Okay. He's coming. Uh... You know, uh, you look like you had a little party yourself. No, I walked into a door. Hmm. Hmm. Here's the man who can show you where everything is. Bush. Adelard. The air conditioning in the lift hasn't been working properly at all. Young Brood said one of the cages had broken down, too. Who? Uh, my boss. Oh, yeah. The middle one here broke down. But you can see it's working now. It must have been caused by that storm. Mm hmm There's no electrical problem. Something. It was working well before. Ah, there you are. Ravenstein, Nathan Construction, Management and Development. Real estate, Benelux Exploitation. We manage this building. Adelar. Listen, I hope it won't take you too long to fix it. Do you know that this is a brand new elevator? Well, I'm not sure I'll be able to help you. Your air conditioning mm -hmm. unit's in good shape. Please, you must be joking. Do you know that four of our guests passed out last night? They almost choked to death in there. Uh, have a look for yourself. Hmm. This is strange. But there are four people in the hospital who nearly suffocated in here. There has to be a reason for this. What do you think? I'll run tests on all the main electrical circuits. I might find something there. Yes, that sounds like an excellent idea. You do that. We're most anxious to avoid any other incidents of this type. Bush, would you help him, please? Mm -hmm. I'll be upstairs. If you need me for anything, my office is on the sixth floor. Mm -hmm. Wait! Oh. Thanks, Bush. Hi. Are you all right, Mr. Cravanger? Oh, yes, yes. I'm just a little winded. Uh, that's all. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I don't want to forget this, do I? <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, thank you. Yes. Brain doctor. Huh. He used to be okay. <laughs> Pretty nervous fellow to be a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Who else occupies the building? Oh, all sorts. You name them, we got them. Restaurant upstairs, real estate, import firm, offices. But most of it is vacant. Well, that doesn't surprise me as much as rents have gone up. I don't mind it empty most times. Less to do, you know. Ah, here we are. Uh, I believe this is 11. Oh, I must have pressed the button for the wrong floor. That happens to me quite a bit. Eyes must be getting old. <laughs> The control panel's right back in the corner over there. Ah, oh, I see it. I haven't opened it or anything. Wouldn't know what to adjust if I did. Would you look at that? Two windows broken. As if I don't have enough to do. Oh, well, I'll clean up here later on. Well, anything there? Nothing unusual. No lightning struck here, that's for sure. Yep. <sighs> I could never do a job like that. It's just too difficult. You happy working with this stuff? Oh, sure. It's easy once you're trained. Hmm. Yep. And this thing? Is this all part of it? Oh, the microprocessor's in there. That's, uh, what guides the lift. Oh, yeah. Chips and all that, hmm? Mm-hmm. So, you must have trained a long time. Yep. It's too bad that other guy went wacko on you. Oh, uh, Brooker. Mm. Yeah, he was a very nice guy. I thought a lot of him. Oh, and very conscientious. He took a long time with that last checkup. It seemed to be working all right. Yeah, but you can't always be sure. Hmm. 
Well, I'll leave you to get on with whatever. While you're working, will the lift be turned off? No, no, I don't think it's necessary. Huh, good. I wouldn't like to walk up 14 floors. Uh, if you feel like coffee, come by later. I always have some. Huh, okay. Mm. I'll do that. considerate of your mother, understand? Mm -hmm. oh, here comes Mama. All right, let's get ready for bed. Come on. You too, Karen, and brush your teeth. What's this? Why are you still awake? Get moving. Felix, it's 9.30 already. Really? That late? Huh, what do you know? <sighs> when you watch them, the children never get to sleep on time. Did you talk to his teacher? Yep, he's getting along much better. See, he's not as dumb as you think he is. He just needed some time to get adjusted. Mm. What was wrong with the lift this morning? No, it wasn't serious. I think it was only a short circuit. But some people almost choked to death. Yeah, they just come out of the restaurant. I suppose it could have been what they ate. <laughs> the food there couldn't have been that awful. Mm -hmm. Well, something else got to them. The lift systems were perfect. Hmm. I guess that must have been it then. Don't throw that away. Huh? The caps. I'm saving the caps. The caps? What for? Uh, you can win a trip to Hawaii if you have a hundred. Now, why would you want to take a trip to Hawaii? We vacationed on an island last year. You're not very romantic anymore, are you? No, no, I'm still that way. In fact, I'd like to be on the river right now, in the moonlight, in the arms of a girl. All right, please put it where I told you. Well, where do you want it? Right next to the coffee. Hmm. We'll probably win a trip to the bottling plant. Oh, you. Mr. Speckingood, I wonder if you could tell me something about the view. The view, you say? Yes, the view from the apartment. It's for my mother, of course. Oh. Well, it's fantastic, I can assure you. On one side is a huge forest as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> And on the opposite is the blue water of the Mediterranean Sea. But we've gone over this many times, Mr. Fink. You have to make a decision about buying this apartment. Yes, I agree. But it's so expensive. I'm not sure I can afford the mortgage. It's well within your budget, Mr. Fink, and you'll never regret purchasing this apartment. Don't forget it's a surprise for my mother. Yes, I know. The poor dear, it'll be her birthday soon. Ninety-two. Mm-hmm. Then this is really not the time to postpone, Mr. Fink. I have the contract all made out. You can use my pen if you like. Uh, no, thank you. I have my own pen. Now then, if you'll just sign here. Yes. <sighs> Thanks. One more here, please. Do I have to sign again? Yes, it's for our administration. Oh. Here you go, sign right here. Good. <clears throat> so, you're going to enjoy this place for many wonderful years. Believe me, you've made the right decision. Do you know your way to the lift, Mr. Fink? Don't worry about me, I can find it by myself. And say hello to your mother. I will, thank you.
Mr. Fink. Huh? Your pen. You forgot it. Did I? How careless of me. It's a souvenir that has great meaning. I don't know how I could have forgotten it. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, Mr. Fink. Good day. Did you say something? What? No, I didn't say a word. I apologize. Now for an update on the latest world news. Three o'clock. We have two more hours to go. Hey, would you like a drink? A drink? I hope you won't mention this. Here, this helps me get through those long hours. No, thanks. I don't drink much. Huh? No one told me you're a man who doesn't like to have a drink now and then. Well, in that case, I guess I'll just have to drink alone. Tell me, what do you do to amuse yourself? Chase after girls? Uh-uh. Actually, I'm engaged. Oh, you have a fiancé. <laughs> That's right. We're getting married in a few weeks. You are? You're not planning to live it up before then? Let me tell you something. When I was in the Navy, I literally had a girl in every port. And I racked up a hell of a score in those days. So much so that now I'm what's called immune to penicillin. <laughs> what is it? Thought I heard a noise. Hey, you don't get so nervous. Of course, I understand why you would be. It's so close to your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what it was. Rats, that's it. Did you hear about the time they found an elevator full of dead ones in here? Uh-huh. They found dozens of them inside there. If you're looking for excitement, you better find yourself another job. The lift. There's someone in the building. The lift is moving. That's very funny, but you're right. L look at that. It it's heading up. Let's go up. Huh? We'll grab him when he gets out. Come on. Hey, wait for me. He's on the 10th floor. Oh. He's what? on the 15th. <sighs> That's the restaurant, isn't it? Maybe it's a party. Are you all right? Uh -huh. I'm going up. Huh? Oh. Keith! Keith! What is it? There's someone down there. There's a man in the shaft. <laughs> Do you have the number? What? Oh, Jesus, the lift's coming down. The lift. Turn me off. God. Stop, Keith. Keith, where are you? Keith! God, it's moving again. Help!
used to work the vice squad. You get numb. It's a pity. One time, one of those psychopaths picked up a girl on the street, took her to his place, and gave her a sleeping pill so she'd keep quiet. Then he went to work with a drill. Black and Decker, I think it was. He was actually able to cut her in half. I skipped lunch that day. You can understand why. Eh, I got used to it later. Thanks. Yeah, there are a lot of lunatics running well, around. Well, it may be routine to you, but I'm not used to something this horrible. I still can't believe that that poor man was decapitated. Who could have predicted it? They told me that these lifts were safe, that there was nothing that could go wrong. And now a thing like this happens. This isn't the first accident I've come across with a lift, and it won't be the last one either. I don't much like lifts. I prefer the stairs myself. They're a lot safer. It's too long a time in a small space, and I suffer from claustrophobia. That's why I became a policeman, not a criminal. I would much rather put others in cells than wind up myself in prison. Do you know how many victims get stuck in these lifts in a year? No idea. A hundred? Two? Come in. Ah, Schmidt. I was just asking this gentleman here how many people he thought got stuck in elevators every year in this country. Tell him. Um, 250,000. That's unbelievable. 250,000. In our country alone. That's a fact. That's per year. Schmidt, have you been to the hospital yet? Yes, the night watchman hasn't said anything coherent yet. The doctors say he's suffering from a severe shock, and it may be a while before he can tell us anything useful. That doesn't help us much, does it? Uh, well, I did manage to deduct from what the man said that there was a third party in the building when this occurred. The two of them were chasing someone. Someone in the building? A burglar? I couldn't make sense of what he said. Could that third party be the cause of this? Could be, yes. We'll check out the possibility that it was a burglary. For the time being, we'll have to wait. As soon as our friend can talk, then we can start a real investigation. He seems to be our only chance. Yes. And the blind man? Uh, yes. Marius Fink. He must have fallen down the shaft yesterday. He was in the building to see Mr. Speckinggood, the real estate agent. I checked it out. It looks like another accident. Hmm. Did the lift mechanic come? Uh, yes, he started working earlier. He should be done soon. How are you doing? Fine. Who's asking? I'm Mickey DeBeer of the New Review. The New Review? I see it sometimes in my neighbor's birdcage. Our readers are found in many strange places. You arrived here a little late. I took all my photos this morning. I thought no one was being allowed in this morning. Yes, I've been warned. This is very interesting. Are you with the, uh, Rising Sun? No, I'm with the Lyft Company. Rising Sun does electronics. Will your readers find that interesting? It's for my personal collection. Uh-huh. You've been working all day? That's what someone told me. That's true. What's that? It's air circulation going through the shaft. It causes vibrations in the lines. Oh. There's nothing really to worry about. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, oh. uh, are you still around? I thought I asked you to leave. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready to go. That's an interesting tie you've got. It's been a pleasure, gentlemen. Good afternoon. She's aggressive, isn't she? I'm sorry, Mr. Adelaar. Regulations. They're strict here. Mm -hmm. The boss wants to know how far you got. I uh, double-checked all your main electrical circuits. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, I told you he was good. That's the most likely place for a failure to begin. But I couldn't find anything wrong. It's functioning normally. Too bad we can't say the same about the victims. 
The, uh, the access controls of the doors work. They're all in order. But I haven't had a chance to give it all a thorough inspection. I should examine the entire shaft, but that would take days. You mean the whole time it would be out of order? That's right. Most of the week, I'm afraid. I read about an accident this week that involved two automobiles. There was a terrible smash-up. A traffic light was broken, and you won't believe why. Tell them. What was the cause, Schmidt? Uh, a mouse. Yeah, they found a mouse. <laughs> Hiding in the power box where he had destroyed the master relay. I can't believe that mice caused what happened to the lift. Yeah, it's possible. I wouldn't be surprised. A lift can't go up by itself. Don't you agree? Yeah. What's the big idea? I was hoping to catch a ride from you if you're heading into town. Do you regularly break into strangers' cars? Not too much. Selma are unlocked? <laughs> Where to? The Greek tea room. That's perfect. It's on my way home. <laughs> I picked the most convenient spots. <laughs> You look very serious. Oh, uh, yeah? What's actually wrong with the lift? The cops seem to think it could be mice. Of course. They always go the easy way. The accident is very tragic, and we will investigate. Meanwhile, everyone is warned to beware of old, dangerous elevators. That's their story. And you don't buy it. No, there's more to it than that. If there was more to tell you, they would have. Thought you might know something. You've been misinformed. Something is going on here. No one gets beheaded on a lift. A loose relay, perhaps? What makes you say that? The door guard, he told me. One of the lifts was stuck last week, he said. That was separate from this. Too bad. Why? It would have made a nice story. A real masterpiece. How many freak accidents happen in lifts? I don't know. It's riskier driving a car. These days, elevators have all sorts of safety devices designed to prevent accidents. But what if some other really horrible things had already occurred? Wouldn't they keep it quiet? A plot? Want a cigarette? No, thanks. Oh, is this your family? Your wife's pretty. Yeah. Been together long? Almost ten years. Oh, that's quite a while. You've been a lift mechanic that whole time? About as long as you've been a journalist. Isn't that a tiring job? All day long? Up and down in a shaft? Yeah, it's tiring sometimes. Come by, we'll go up and down together. Okay, okay, I'll keep quiet. Well, I see you read it yourself. Oh, my own stuff. You can drop me off over here. Well, I thought you wanted to go to the tea room. Actually, this will be better for me. Thanks so much. I appreciate the ride. <laughs> yeah, sure, anytime. Uh, do you live here? What? Uh, I said, uh, do you live here? Here? This is the office. I work here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought you lived here. <laughs> no. Why would anybody live at their office? <laughs> yeah. I might have time. Yeah, I mean, if you I have don't... any news about the lift, call me at the magazine, okay? Okay. Bye. I'll do that. See you. this up. Look, they're beating her pants off out there. Hey, you think they're practicing on the slide? Not a chance. She's got talent. Hey, Felix. How about that? Felix? Huh? What? Would you forget about work? 
Hey, don't look so sad. It's not your fault. These kind of things happen, you know. How do you feel? We're going to get drinks. What kind do you want, Felix? Oh, I don't know. Beer, I guess. Do you want a tonic, dear? Well, no, I feel like having a... No, that'll just make you even better. All right, then I'll have a time. I keep letting his pants out around my waist. <laughs> Felix is down in the dumps. Have you talked to him? I can't figure him out anymore. He takes his job too seriously. Can I help two you, Two red please? wines, a beer, and a tonic. Are you two getting along all right otherwise? Who, Felix and me? Why do you ask? Are you sure there isn't someone else? Someone else? Some other woman? It happens quite often in a marriage. No, Felix doesn't fool around. <laughs> what an idea. Well, you never know what can happen. No, you don't know Felix. All right, you would know better than anybody if your husband's reliable. I made it clear a long time ago to my husband. If there's ever another woman, he'd have to choose. Either she goes or we say goodbye. He's behaved himself all this time. He wouldn't dare play around. Found it. Hey, Hans. Who? Oh, this is the piece you said you were looking for, right? That's great. Now I'll be able to stay late and work overtime. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy yourself. An extensive overhaul. Isn't that going too far? We have a lot of other work to do. I'm afraid it's unavoidable. Something's wrong with it. I'm sure you're trying to be thorough, Felix, and that's commendable. But we have no spare time. Besides, the police think it was a one-time accident. Since it's working now, I think you should drop it. I just want to know what's really going on there. What happened isn't normal. The lift is in order. Rupert gave it a checkup last month, inside and out. He spent several weeks in the job, was completely satisfied. I understood he found quite a few problems there. Where'd you hear that, Felix? You know, around. You know that this is our latest model. Equipped with the latest electronics and safety devices. Long years of research went into it, and at great cost. And one of the maintenance is taking time. It takes longer to get the feel of it. In the maintenance book? Just what do you mean? There was no sign of a maintenance book. Really? It must be there. Have you looked everywhere? No, I couldn't find it. Well, I wouldn't know where he put it. I'll ask Steve about it. That's his job. As far as your job goes, it's complete. If there's anything wrong with that lift, then Brooker would have discovered it. I want you to take a few days off. What for? I never felt better. Listen, Felix. In a few months, we'll have that merge with the Americans wrapped up. That's going to mean more work for everyone. This is no time to bring up problems. Problems? I'm just trying to do my best for you. You're a good repairman, one of the finest we have. While I'm thinking about it, you're due for a promotion. I'll try to put in a good word for you. We'll have a talk later. Yes, young brood speaking. Oh, that would be inconvenient just now. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna retire and let my mother-in-law work. Now that's a good idea. Felix. Hi, nice speaking. Hi. I've got some great news. You know that blonde in administration? Blonde. Yeah, in administration. I've got a date with her. <laughs> Who hasn't? They say she shaves herself down below. Really? It grows that fast, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna find out for sure soon enough. Trust me. Damn. Salami again. Fourth day in a row. Did you know, uh... Brooker at all? Brooker? A little. I went to see him in the sanitarium last week. Uh, he's in pretty bad shape. Completely out of it. What's up? Nothing, really. 
Would Brooker be the type of guy to sabotage one of the elevators? Him? I don't think so. You know, loosen a few bolts or anything. Out of spite for someone he didn't like. Nah, Brooker wouldn't. He was a weird type of guy, but he loved to fix lifts. I was his helper on a couple of jobs, and all he ever talked about was work. Nah, Felix, you must be thinking of another guy. Strange, though, admit it. For someone to change his whole life from one day to the next? Hmm. Well, it happens all the time. Some people are okay one minute, and next thing you know, it's goodbye, folks. Speakerman. Hmm? Come over here a minute. Sure thing, Chief. Why don't you pay him a little visit? Maybe he's feeling better now. Speakerman. Coming, boss. I know that, Carl. I forgot about it, sorry. No, we're partners, of course we are. Uh, I'll send the quotation for you. It's going to work. Yes, say hello to your lovely wife. That's good. Fine, I'll see you later. <sighs> he never does. What? Say hello for you. Uh, oh, no? Well. Oh. You don't think he knows what we're doing, do you? No way. That man's all tied up in his job. And so are you. You've got to relax a bit more, partner. <coughs> oh, what is it now? The personnel. I wouldn't want them to find out about well, us. What's wrong? You never used to worry. Your secretary's out to lunch until two, isn't she? We must use discretion. Come, come, come. Now relax and enjoy this. Nobody will discover us. <coughs> Do you like a drink? Hey, what if Ravenstein sees you? Huh, we don't have to worry about him. He's getting his rocks off. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's Wednesday. Mm. Let's get comfortable on the couch, dear. Uh, where's your daughter? Her? She's playing outside in the hallway there. Now, don't worry. Mm. You're wearing black underwear. Just for you. Why did you scream? What have you been up to? Look what you've done to your doll, brat! Come with me. You're always in the mischief. We work together. How's he doing? Unfortunately, there's been no change. Oh. Uh, it's been mystifying us. He sits in the middle of the room every day. Seems he has a fear of walls.
Good morning, Mr. Brooker. How are you feeling today? You have a visitor. Uh... Pull up a chair here if you feel like it. What's wrong with his hands? Well, that happened last week. He smashed the television screen in the ward room, then became hysterical. Something oh, look got to him. How lovely she is. Call me when you want to go. He's sedated quite heavily. You can ask him questions, but he might not answer. Hello. How are you? I'm Adelar, from work. The, the lift company? Um, maybe I shouldn't have done this, but I need help. Brooker. Brooker, what happened to the lift? The book is missing. Brooker. Brooker, you'd been working on that lift for quite a while. Who took the book? People have been killed. You must tell me what you know. Please, what's happening with the lift? Ah, your colleague just left. Colleague? Yes, from the computer company. He took forever. He went up to check the electrical installation. He told me that these lifts are extremely complicated. Yeah, well, that's for sure. He's been up to all sorts of mischief. The lift's been out of order for an hour. A whole hour? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that happens a lot. These jobs take a long time. You won't repeat the exercise, I hope. No, I just came by, uh... To make sure the lift's in good working order, that's all. Oh, he scared me. My feet are killing me walking up all those <laughs> steps. <laughs> That's all there is. There's nothing else on the rising sun in our files. 
Can you make anything of it? They're one of the largest multinational companies as far as electronics are concerned. Do you know that? Hmm. There's nothing bad in that. No. They've, um... They've been accused of bribing politicians and some industrial espionage. Huh. No surprise there. That's true of most of them. They've been on a television show recently. Rising Sun? Mm-hmm. Some kind of scientific program. Huh. When was that? Um... Last week, I think. Didn't you see it? No. But I bet someone else did. Hmm. Well, let's get all this cleaned up. Then you can tell me why you're so upset. Okay, I think I understand. In a lift, you have a mechanical section and an electronic section. Now, the electronic section guides the lifts and sees that they don't all stop at one floor at the same time. It also controls the doors. That's pretty much what it does. The brains of the entire installation. And you feel that could be the cause of all this? Mm-hmm. Rising Sun installed all the electronics. And what your co-worker stumbled on drove him mad? Yep, I think so. But what could have been so awful that it would drive him crazy? I don't know. He might also have a loose relay. <laughs> Please don't make jokes about it. <laughs> Sorry. Forgive me, why are you so worked up over this? This lift does things it shouldn't. I've done things I shouldn't. Yeah, but you're not a machine. Thank you. Look, hmm? it's Felix. Mm. Yeah. Hey, he's with another woman. Oh. Mm. I knew it. I knew he had a girlfriend. That no good shit. Come on. Hmm. Mm. What about going to the police? <laughs> Nobody'd believe it. I don't have any proof. Mm, those clippings weren't very helpful, were they? Mm, I've got some idea who I'll be meeting with. What time is your appointment with them? At one o'clock. Okay, that's good. What do you mean? Hey, don't you get it? What's to get? I'm coming with you. <laughs> I can't take a reporter along to see them. And why not? Don't start anything. Mm-hmm. Can I help you? Uh, good afternoon. I have an appointment. What's your name? Adlar, Felix Adlar. The appointment was made by phone this morning to see Mr. Crone, the head of our research department. Mm-hmm. You're right on time, sir. He hasn't got his beeper. I'll go and get him for you. Will you wait mm -hmm. here, please? You're Mr. Adelar, I guess. Crum. Uh, I thought you'd be, uh, alone. Uh, well, this is my colleague on this. She's been quite helpful. Colleague? Uh-huh. Well, unusual work for a woman. Really? Uh, now then, I'm sorry I don't have much time. Uh, someone, uh, who works for your firm checked the electrical installation on one of the lifts I was repairing this week. It's possible. We check all our installations regularly. 
It's routine. We also um, do it after consulting our clients. We've just been wondering if something hadn't checked out right. With our electronic installation? The computer guidance system. Mm. Out of the question. It can't be that. Our microprocessing systems always have strict tests in difficult circumstances. Uh, don't forget, our reputation's at stake. Yes. Uh, I only understand a little about electronic layouts myself, but couldn't something have gone wrong? Uh, Mr. Adelaar, surely you know we install electronic installations all over the world. Uh, lifts, factories, hospitals, military installations, nuclear reactors. We're everywhere. Uh, we're spending a fortune on research. We value our reputation. We simply can't afford to make mistakes. Our microprocessors are 100% reliable. Is this where they're made? Hmm? What? The microprocessing systems. Some of them. Most come from Japan. We're more concerned with maintenance here at the factory. I'm afraid that's all I can do for you, Mr. Adelar. I wouldn't mind seeing the assembly room while we're here. Impossible. I'm very busy. Oh, we also have a job waiting for us. Yes, we're supposed to inspect a shaft, a loose relay. Uh, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Glad to help out. And if you need anything else, feel free to call me up. Yes, I will. Do that. You didn't sound very convincing. You either. I hope I don't get in trouble. Nervous, wasn't he? Hmm. He's too defensive to let on if anything was really wrong. Yeah, something about that guy's very suspicious. I didn't like him. He didn't like you either. At least you're even. New recipe? Not really, no. It might be that it's burnt a little. That can happen when it's been on the stove too long. I couldn't help getting stuck in a traffic jam. Bertie, take your cap off of the table. Oh, Mom. Papa, what's adultery about? Hey, shh. Adultery? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you when you're a little older. You should explain it. What? Yes, tell them what adultery's about. You're such an expert on the subject. An expert? Don't act so dumb. Somebody tell me about that woman, the bitch. I didn't believe them, so I called the factory and asked to speak to you. They told me you've been out the whole afternoon. What are you talking about? You were having a good time with another woman, that's what. I guess I'm not good enough for you anymore. You must be tired of me. Well, I'm not going to let you treat me like some kind of doormat. <laughs> Adelar. Hello. We're just having dinner. Listen, I'll... I'll have to call you back. What? Which professor? The man who teaches computer sciences. I never heard of him. No. Won't tomorrow do? All right, at the university tonight. Mm-hmm. I know where it is. See you there in a little bit. Bye. She's a student. It's a misunderstanding. She's a journalist. That's nice. Wonderful. She goes to school on the side. Now finish up. That's it. Papa's friend is expecting him real soon. We don't want to make him late. This is a chip. According to some, it's the greatest technological advance in the history of mankind. According to others, it's the greatest threat. Uh, this kind of electronic chip is only a few millimeters across. Now, one chip has thousands of miniature components all over its surface. There are chips all around us these days. Without chips, our society wouldn't be able to function properly anymore. Someday, we'll have chips installed bottom to top. They'll be surgically implanted to regulate our blood pressure, among other things. This is a revolutionary concept. And it won't be long before chips are used to take over certain functions of the brain. If I were an imbecile, and of course I'm not, whoop, one implant, and that's all it takes. I'm as smart as anyone else. <laughs> Can you tell us about the computer in America? A computer was created quite some time ago in the United States. It came equipped with the latest kind of chips. 
The next thing they knew, it began to go off, all on its own, totally inexplicable. A mystery to everyone concerned. The computer started initiating its own brain patterns. It began making its own programs. It got completely out of control and couldn't be stopped. So, they pulled the plug. They couldn't figure out how to stop it, so they dug a big hole and buried the computer. They just covered it up. But um, how could they be sure it was something in the chips? No question. You see, in the last few years, scientists all over the world have spent a lot of time bringing down the size of these chips. Now, computers used to be so big and bulky, they filled up half the room. I have a picture. Ah, here it is. Would you believe this computer used to accomplish the same as a chip does today? It's not much elapsed time, about 15 years. And the research has hardly started yet. Everything just gets tinier and tinier. And that is where the danger lies, in my opinion. Under certain influences, the programs of the chips can now be changed. The tinier the chip, the more unstable and less reliable it will become. Uh, for instance, what type of influences? Um, magnetism, static electricity, temperature, ultraviolet rays, radioactive rays. When a chip is exposed to these elements, it may begin to break down. Then you've got to find and quickly remove such a chip. Should it continue in use, the danger is it could reprogram itself. They've now started to develop a new element, the biochip. Chips that are no larger than a little molecule. One time they built a computer, an entirely experimental thing, a prototype, with these chips that were made completely out of protein. Imagine that, a chip made out of pure organic material. Fantastic, you mean it worked? Uh-uh. It proved an awful failure. It turned out the chips were so unstable and irregular, they instantly started to reprogram in the computer. But the most fascinating thing of all was these chips of protein lost control and reproduced themselves over and over again. The computer began to create its own chips. It began to grow. <sighs> Can you believe it? Yeah, tell me. Did somebody bury that one? I have no idea. It might have committed suicide by now. So long. Glad you were able to stop by. Thanks again. Good night. Good night. Well, what do you think, Felix? I don't believe any of it. It's impossible for chips to start multiplying. Why is that? A computer that reproduces itself? Are you sure your friend is really a professor? He's one of the most brilliant people I know. He doesn't have to make things up. Sounds like a nutcase. He's an expert in this field. Rising Suns installed something like that in the lift, I'm telling you. And your friend Brooker discovered it. Then he must have flipped out. Like I will, if I listen to you. You won't go along with it? So prove that he's crazy. Check it out yourself. What? Well, the main computer that powers the lift is in a metal box on top of the shaft. So you want me to break in? Only to find out the truth. Yeah. And it would make a great story for you. Thank you, but I have enough problems of my own. And one thing I don't need on top of everything else is a fight with my boss just because some weird friend of yours makes up stories about computers that reproduce. You're petrified, aren't you? Uh, yeah. I guess that must be it. Are you coming? No, thanks. I'll find a cab. Finished, Van Rowan. This isn't a circus. I'm tired of telling you that. If you want to play a clown, do it on your own time. Now you've got a job to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> hey, if you don't like it, then get the hell out. I hope I see him. All right, ladies, cut the cabin. Oh! Well, you shouldn't have stuck it out in traffic.
Keep up the good work, ladies. I'll be back for dress inspection in a couple of minutes. <laughs> What the fuck? Where the hell did he go? Van Rowan! Stupid jerk off. Good morning. Came early, hmm? I have quite a lot of work to do today. Yeah, I know what you mean. Me too. Hi, Speaky. Huh? You're early today. You're supposed to be sick or something. Sick? What? Young Brute had me take over for you. Take over what? The lift. In that office building. You don't look sick to me. No. Is something wrong there? One of the cleaning people got into the shaft somehow and got mangled in the works. Dead as a doornail. The cops think he's the one who's been fooling around with the lift. What the hell is happening around here? Nobody told me about that. Ah, Mr. Adelar, I've been expecting you. Yeah, I've just found out. You've asked Speakerman to fix that lift. You've been removed from that job. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And there's one more thing you should know. I put you on sick leave for a month. You can't just force me off work. Under the circumstances, you should have been fired. You didn't even call us up to explain. You just took off yesterday afternoon. And to make matters worse, you had the nerve to pay a visit to one of our business associates behind my back and criticize them. Have you gone totally off your rocker? We have good contacts with the Rising Sun Company, and you go and tell them their electronic installation is no good. I'm sorry, but I didn't say that. Speakerman will be taking over for you for a few days. Perhaps you have a chance to pull yourself together. But it's my lift. And it's my reputation. I expect you to keep away from that lift, and women from newspapers. Hey, what's wrong now, Felix? With me, nothing. It's the lift that's wrong. I'll be giving it a checkup right after this weekend. That's a bit too late. But they know who did it now. Like hell they do. The cleaning man. No way. He had nothing to do with it. What do you mean? So who do you think it was? Felix! Hey, where are you going? was dumb, wasn't careful enough. And that's what got him killed. What made him do it? Why did he have to play tricks with the lift like that? Everything points in his direction. Did you know he had a police record? No. He never brought it up. Of course. What does it say, Schmidt? 
Uh, auto theft and a robbery. Also public nuisance. There you are. You can see he was the type. It doesn't surprise me, though. I always thought he seemed pretty unreliable. Mm. But it's not easy these days to find someone to do heavy cleaning. Will you, uh, here, sign this? Yes. There you go. Yep, thanks. I'm happy I was able to help. If you need more information, I'll be around. You certainly will if the need arises. In any case, we'd like to thank you for your cooperation. It was mm. nothing. Thank you. Well, Schmidt, now that this problem's solved, we can get on to other things. Where'd I put my travel brochures? Uh, the upper drawer on the right. Uh, ah, here they are. Yep. Ah. Mm, uh, but are you sure Van Rowan was the guilty man? Huh? I am, aren't you? Whenever there was trouble with the lift, that cleaning man had always been in the building the night before. Hmm, but couldn't that be due to coincidence? I don't believe in coincidence in this business, Schmidt. I'm after facts, and the facts point clearly in one direction. I'm just happy we could clear this up before I go on my vacation. Ah, uh, this is gonna be wonderful. Tropical beaches. What time does my flight leave Monday, Schmidt? Saskia? Hello. What? Where have you gone? Oh, wonderful. What about the kids? Yeah, yeah. Now, wait just a minute. I don't know what's happened to you this time, but... Well, how long do you plan to... Look, I'm not gonna play any more of your stupid games. I hope you're happy. is out of control. We've made a few errors. But when you started, you told me nothing could go wrong. If anyone ever finds out, it will be disastrous. Nobody will find out. Yeah, my repairmen are extremely suspicious. I should never have listened to you. God only knows what you've been doing all this time. There's been some problems. 
They'll be solved soon. Well, I don't plan to be responsible for your experiments. I want nothing more to do with them. Oh, I'm tired. I need some time away. You might well. You better do that.
left on your own, can you? It's all over. Oh, I missed it. Easy. Oh. I slipped up here late. How should I know the trouble you're getting yourself into? <laughs> Extremely sick. <laughs> <laughs> 